हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द इन न्यूज थीरी सेक्शन ऑफ दृष्टि आई ए एस आई एम आयशा एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट अ एस्टिमेट विच द वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज रिसेंटली पॉइंटेड टू वर्ड एंड इट टॉक्स अबाउट द राइजिंग सिनेरियो ऑफ द कैंसर डिजीज दैट इन द कमिंग टाइम्स बाय द ईयर ट्वेंटी फिफ्टी द कैंसर बर्डन इन द कंट्री और द कैंसर बर्डन थ्रू आउट द ग्लोब और ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड विल इंक्रीज बाय 77% so in the coming times the disease cancer is going to be more prevalent this is what the who estimates is saying so let us first understand the timeline first we'll be looking at the news then what the who estimates talk about or what are its findings then what is india scenario what is the cancer burden of india then what are the initiatives taken by the government to tackle cancer in india and in the end a prelims mcq topic is of relevance from the section health so let's begin the news talks about new cancer cases to soar 77% by the year 2050 and this is what the world health organization is saying by the year 2050 77% increase so the who that is the world health organization international agency for research on cancer that is iacr it has taken out its estimates and it talks about that the number of new cancer cases new cancer cases will rise to more than 35 million in the year 2050 it means that 77% higher than the figure in the year 2022 so if we compare the year 2022 so in the year 2022 the cases which were reported were around 20 million so 2022 20 million cases were reported so it is saying that the who is saying that by the year 2050 around 35 million cases will be reported it means a 77% higher cases will be reported it means that in the coming times the future generation the coming times the disease cancer is going to be more prevalent it is not diminishing it will even be more powerful and whenever we talk about the word cancer so cancer is a type of disease in which the cells of the body the cells of the body they have uncontrolled growth so usually what happens in our body that cells are in limited number so when the old cells die the new cells are formed but in case of the cancer the uncontrolled growth of cells takes place and that is why there is an excess number of cells which gets generated and then they start to target the cell which is the immune system of the body so that is how the cycle of the cancer keeps on repeating itself so this is about the news now the who estimates is pointing towards certain factors which are responsible for the cancer and those factors are tobacco alcohol obesity and air pollution and air pollution and obesity it is saying that are two of the reasons that which in the coming times will even contribute more to the cancer burden of the world tobacco and alcohol have always been a major reason of cancer so tobacco and alcohol and it is always advised that one should keep away from them but in the coming time obesity and air pollution and air pollution specially the point of pollution specifically is contributing a lot to the cancer burden of the world now talking about the findings of the estimates what the estimate is pointing towards so it is talking that most developed countries are expected to record the greatest increase so it is not that only the poor countries or the underdeveloped or the least developed countries they will be they will be troubling they will be troubling the world with the cancer burden no the most developed countries it will be seeing the most developed countries will be seeing the greatest increase in the number of cases of cancer so in the number terms most developed countries will be at risk like 4.8 million new cases 
but if we talk about the percentage terms so in the in percentage terms the countries which are at risk of the increase of cancer burden in the world so they are the low end of the human development index it means the low income co countries that is the least developed countries so they will be having a 142% rise in the cancer burden then the medium range countries are due to record a 99% increase in terms of number most developed countries will have the cancer burden in percentage terms it is the least developed countries and medium range countries will have 99% increase in the cancer cases and if we talk about the cancer mortality so if in the coming times by the year 2050 the number of cases the percentage of cases of cancer will increase then it will lead to more cancer mortality cases so if we talk about the aspect of cancer mortality then it is project to almost double in 2050 so by the year 2022 it is said that by the year 2050 the number of mortalities with regard to cancer will almost double now if we talk about the most common type of cancer so in humans which is the most common type of cancer then it is the lung cancer so lung cancer is the most commonly occurring cancer and around 2.5 million new cases that is 12.4% of the total new cases. So 12.4% of the total new cases lung cancer will constitute this part. Then after lung cancer if we talk about with regard to females then it is the breast cancer and overall also lung cancer is the first and breast cancer is second and in females breast cancer is first so female breast cancer it will constitute around 11.6 percent of the cases then third is the collectoral cancer 9.6 percent of total cases then there is prostate cancer 7.3 percent then there is stomach cancer it is 4.9 percent so they these are the topmost the cancer which is observed the maximum in people so that is lung cancer second is breast cancer third collectoral cancer fourth prostate and fifth stomach now what is the scenario in india so if we talk about from the respect of india then in the in the year 2012 to 2019 around 1.3 million cases were recorded with regard to cancer and when we talk about cancer then the most common cancer which has been observed is leukemia and when we talk about 1.3 million cases observed so it is not of any one particular type if it, it is with regard to the umbrella term which is cancer and below cancer there are many different type of cancer that we just observed so 1.3 million cases observed and if we talk about the age group then the age group 0 to 14 years 3.2 percent and 0 to 19 years 4.6 percent cases were observed then 3% of all cancer patients in India are under 15. So, if we talk about the age group, then under 15 age group, around 3% of all cancer patients are in India. Then under 20 is around 4.6%. Now, if we with regard to cancer, leukemia constitutes a substantial burden of cancer comprising nearly half of all cancers in the 0 to 4 and 5 to 9 age groups 0 to 4 is 42.1 percent and 5 to 9 is 42.5 percent so this is with regard to the cancer leukemia which also constitutes one of the which also increases the cancer burden in the globe now india's initiatives related to cancer treatment now we all know that cancer treatment is a painful treatment it is a very long treatment and it is a very financially draining treatment so majorly the people who afford who can afford the cancer treatment it is considered to be expensive treatment and majority of the population in india cannot afford the cancer treatment and that is why there is always a talk on lowering down the rates of medicines of cancer and there are subsidies also provided on the cancer treatment so the initiatives taken by the indian government with regard to cancer treatment that is 
नेशनल प्रोग्राम फॉर प्रिवेंशन एंड कंट्रोल ऑफ कैंसर डायबिटीज कार्डियोवैस्कुलर डिजीजेज एंड स्ट्रोक सो अंडर दिस इट इज ट्राइंग दैट द कैंसर शुड बी प्रिडिक्टेड एट अ वेरी और कैंसर शुड बी फाउंड आउट एट अ वेरी 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 इनिशियल स्टेज सो दैट द ट्रीटमेंट कैन बी डन ऑन टाइम एंड द पेशेंट ऑल्सो गेट्स द टाइम टू रिकवर देन नेशनल कैंसर ग्रिड सो दैट द कैंसर बर्डन ऑन इंडिया गुड डिक्रीज इन द कमिंग टाइम्स बिकॉज द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ कैंसर इज अ लेंदी एंड अ लॉन्ग ट्रीटमेंट देन द नेशनल कैंसर अवेयरनेस दे सेट द अवेयरनेस विद रिगार्ड टू द कैंसर विच इज वेरी लो इन आर कंट्री सो इट नीड्स टू इम्प्रूव एंड पीपल नीड्स टू बी अवेयर विद रिगार्ड टू वॉट हैपन्स इन कैंसर देन एच पी वी वैक्सीन सो द इट इज इवन वर्किंग टूवर्ड्स द वैक्सीन विच कैन कंट्रोल कैंसर now in the end a prelims mcq and people need to tell me the answer in the comment section for women the most commonly diagnosed cancer and leading cause of cancer death was for women that is females prostate cancer stomach cancer lung cancer breast cancer so these are the four points even we discussed this in the video so give me the answer in the comment section and that's all for today thank you so much for wat watching till we meet next time keep reading keep writing and keep subscribing to the channel thank you for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications